It's around 7.30 am and I gotta hurry up for the client meeting I have for a project from university at 8 am. Recently, I started intermittent fasting, so I'm skipping the breakfast, but as a normal software engineer, I can't function properly without some coffee. So let's grab one and get going. I am studying software engineering in Netherlands, but currently I am doing my minor in Belgium. Today we have our last meeting for a project we are doing in a group of five. We are building one mobile application and one web application that will help companies connect their employees with coaches and experts in order to keep their employees healthy. After the client meeting we are going to sit with the team and plan our last sprint. I am back home and now I can start working at my startup. First of all, I have to go through my emails, clear the inbox and after that I'll do some code review and test the feature implemented by the team. To give you a little background on what I am working on, let me tell you a bit more about Vitinium. Vitinium is a mobile app that aims to connect strength training athletes into a community where they can share videos of their performances, compete in rankings and challenges and help each other grow and improve. If that's too confusing, in two words, we are building Strava for people training at the gym. I joined the team as a co-founder and technical lead more than a year ago. Currently, we are three co-founders and three developers that help me with the front-end development, while I'm focusing more on the back-end development and the architecture of a project. If you're interested and would like to know more about the project and my work here, please write down below. I will leave dishes so you would have more questions. I already finished uh, doing the code reviews of the developers that are working at the front end. So there are still some things to change in order to be able to put it in production and hopefully till the evening the developers will do the changes and I can build it and update a new version. And right now I'll have to start actually working at some of the tasks that I have. At the moment I'm working on a machine learning algorithm that will take the video and will automatically categorize it into its specific category. Uh, is it either a push-up, a pull-up, a deadlift and so on. And after that we will also extract the number of repetitions from the video so that the user will not need to, to upload the number of repetitions, the category and all this stuff out, uh, manually. It will be determined automatically 
but right now we are still in research phase so I'm gonna go through some libraries that we found that are gonna uh, extract the joints of a person from a video and I'm gonna go and test them, see uh, how much time do they need to run and to analyze a video to extract the joints from a video and after that we can uh, decide on which library to use and what will be our approach. Wait, I know how to optimize it. But, jokes aside, I have actually managed to find a library that suits our needs and I've been uh, modifying it in order for it to work not only with one video but to work it with a lot of video and to produce uh, separate output files that we need and currently I'm testing it with one video but it takes a lot of time so I've been waiting already for more than 30 minutes and I don't think I will manage to show it not right now because I have a training in 30 minutes so stay tuned and after the trainings I'll show you the result Just got back from the gym, I took a shower, now I'd like to eat something, check my emails and maybe watch some dumb videos on YouTube, who knows. The plan of watching dumb videos on YouTube as usually failed because I got an email that the script has some bugs that prevents my team to run it, so I spent the next 2 hours trying to figure out a Python indentation error. I almost gave up as I was too tired, but in the end I found the problem. In Google Colab there was a statement that was modifying directly a line from the source code and it had different indentation, so that's why it worked locally but it was crashing on Google Colab. As a wise man once told, I don't know, it works on my machine. Thankfully everything works now and here is an example of what we managed to do. Here you can see the joints and pose extraction from a video of me training. It's pretty impressive isn't it? Uh, I mean the algorithm, not me. It's 11 pm and I can call it a day. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like as it will mean a lot to me. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike and let me know down below what did you manage to do today that makes you think, damn, it was a good day. Bye guys, take care, stay hydrated, write clean code and I'm out.